And we are actually on Stormwatch. I know it's kind of a contradiction uh, because weather is very quiet right now. As you can see, things not too active. A little bit of high cloud cover, some haze out there. But we'll continue to see more breaks in the clouds as we move through the afternoon hours. By about 3 o'clock, I think we'll start to see some scattered showers and storms kicking up. A high of 88 degrees. And we could see an isolated severe storm or two as time goes on becoming actually less bullish on that. And we are actually keeping the severe weather index at low because, again, I think it's just an isolated chance for a severe storm or two and just only a slight risk for a bit of hail, maybe some stronger winds. But that is still the weather story for now, the fact that we'll see some scattered storms this afternoon. The reason why we're on storm watch, because the threat actually doesn't end there. We could actually see another round of stronger storms as we move on through Monday. So just a stormier pattern that we're in. The reason why we are on storm watch right now what we're keeping an eye on is actually an area of low pressure weak area it's not even what you would really call a true area of low pressure but for all intents and purposes it's going to call it a small low working its way up through into minnesota what's going to happen is this low going to get caught up by a cold front coming out of the plains and that low will then get pushed across our area and as it does so with the heating of the day we'll start to see some storms get kicked up and you can see some showers already sparking up near the dells and on in towards madison right now in green Bay. We're quiet at 73 degrees. Appleton at 72. Winds kicking up a little bit. Still some clouds. Manitowoc 66. Sunny winds at 9 miles per hour right now. Through the rest of the state, low 70s pretty much everywhere. Rhinelander coming in at 67 as you start to move up towards Superior. Actually a little bit cooler at 61, but otherwise very warm start to the day despite the fact that we've got a lot of high thin clouds around but you can see those starting to break up towards the last couple of frames so that's going to allow some more heating allow our temperatures to rise to provide more fuel perhaps for these storms so there's a little swirl that little low that we were talking about here's that cold front pushing through the dakotas that's going to kick its way towards us plenty of warmth out ahead of it dew points up in the 50s towards 60 so there is moisture out ahead of it so the ingredients are in place to see some thunderstorms and there you see those pushing on through in the afternoon associated with that initial low as it gets pushed towards us by this cold front that front then starts to push through during the overnight hours could see some scattered storms along with it as a result sunday we actually clear out i think would dry out as well and then monday that risk for severe weather i think pushes back in it might miss north but at this point still definitely a concern for us here down into northeast wisconsin your forecast for today 80 degrees partly cloudy some afternoon storms possible tonight they come to an end gradually 65 degrees for your overnight low and tomorrow 83 partly cloudy skies your three-day forecast warm again by monday up to 87 your extended forecast highs going to be reaching up to near 90 by tuesday wednesday still up in the upper 80s and even though it is a chance for those strong storms on monday the fact just the simple fact that we could be seeing rain definitely some good news so you got to yeah. take the good with the bad that could be the severe weather absolutely thanks Paul. well